of course I have to get the cappuccino with the Prada label on the chocolate they are adorable look at this display now this is a realistic <laughs> weekend in the summer in the UK is absolutely chucking it down obviously got my trusted brolly with me um, I was gonna take you around St John's Wood and do a walking tour and everything but today is not a walking tour I feel like we need a little bit of shopping a little bit of fanciness um, and we're gonna go to the Prada cafe at Harrods which is it's supposed to be really good I'm paying so I will let you know whether it's good or not previously it was the Dior cafe so I'm excited to see yeah what it's like and get like a nice coffee get some nice lunch but this weather is not it. It is so humid. But let's go for a little walk down to um, Little Venice. <laughs> oh, it's so bleak out. Look at that sky. This is not the weather we wanted. There is a huge storm coming as well this morning. Oh, he's in a rush. You guys are always wondering where we are. So yes, you are here. We are right above Regent's Canal and it goes all the way up. I think that's less than five minute walk, I would say. To Little Venice on Warwick Avenue. So I think it's like a nice place. So come for a little stroll and this little restaurant this little cafe right on little venice i love let me show you the canal and i feel like the sun is kind of coming out before the storm oh look and a go boat is going past as well and i always like the buildings along here the red brick buildings are stunning but yeah it's really weird like where is everyone i thought i could hear a boat coming look at that the prince region this is an actual restaurant guys i'm trying to get it in shot look at that and then you have the little cafe above there as well, which is so sweet. Maybe I don't need my brolly right now. Maybe the iPhone is struggling. I've been trying to use my iPhone more and um, yeah, it's being edited slightly differently. I'm actually going to try and save up to buy the iPhone 15 when it comes out because apparently it's going to be amazing. Well, will it? Okay, so Park Lane is closed due to a planned protest. So I'm just trying to figure out how to get down to Knightsbridge. I was avoiding the tube because it would be like crazy, crazy muggy. Oh dear, but then the middle of Park, um, Hyde Park is closed as well because of, um, there's like a concert that's been on for quite a while and they close it every so often. So the taxi was like, um, I can get you there, but I need to go via everywhere. So I'm on foot. Oh, typical London, there's always something, isn't there? But then people can cross over here. Maybe I can get in another cab. But we could get an up-close view of all the buildings along Park Lane. It's very nice down here. Oh, got to film that in 0.5. It's so big. It would be crazy noisy living on Park Lane, but I do think some of the buildings are so cool. Look at those. It's kind of spooky. Oh, but look at this road. This architecture is beautiful. Maybe it's a good thing that there weren't any taxis. Oh, my days. I think I'm going to have to walk the whole way there, which is fine, but I am going to be late but I can't not show you the new little garden at the Dorchester. The renovations are complete. Oh, it looks really nice. Look at these flowers, very pretty. Oh, taxi sign, that's quite funny. But yeah, I saw an Instagram post the other day actually. Can I peek over here? They've got this little garden. There's a few little benches in there. Oh gosh, let's walk in the humidity. It's just one of those days, isn't it? Like it's absolutely roasting. It's disgusting. <laughs> there wasn't even air conditioning in that taxi. It's honestly, it's fine, but it's carnage everyone's trying to get somewhere i don't know who's playing at british summertime tonight i don't know if it's pink she's been playing quite a lot should we go across here jesus um but yeah i'm not doing a line bike i don't feel comfortable without a helmet around here people are whizzing through the cars oh i don't know yeah i, I don't want to do park park lane uh without a helmet this is giving throwback from the jubilee it's like a car park but with the carnage going around i always love this building how pretty oh big bus at least I get to walk through the park a little bit. Oh, very nice, and it's not raining yet. I have to cut across the horse track. Not great for the white trainers. <laughs> and I know I've said this before, this is where you always try to wear trainers, like even if you're gonna splash out and get a taxi, trainers, always. Because <laughs> yeah, quite. this happens quite often. Well, I would say like tube strikes and stuff like that, or oil protests and things like that. This is very common in London now, unfortunately. We made it finally. It's time just about to spare. Saturday afternoon, what am I even doing right now? This is gonna be carnage. Wow, this is a popular one. So yeah, they got this outdoor seating. I've booked inside, I need a little bit of air conditioning. It's like I said, boiling. 
And yeah, it looks really nice. This was, I think this was a macaron place back in the day, but there's some takeaway gelato, which has got a big queue. Lots of people taking photos of the ice cream, very Instagrammable, but yes. Oh, maybe I go in this section here. Yeah, I think I do. Oh, she's doing that for the gram. But it looks like you can probably walk up and maybe sit outside, but a little bit of a queue. But let's head on inside. Yes, this was overlaid by Dior last Christmas. Did anyone see that? Um, let's head on. I have big expectations for this. I feel like the lighting on my seat. There we go, it's gonna be a bit harsh. We're gonna highlight the, the spots there. Um, but yeah, I did put my reservation if I could like sit a little bit out of the way and they were able to do that. So um, they want you to Instagram, they want you to film. So um, yeah, it's really cute, let me show you. So yes, everything is Prada, Prada, Prada. Look at the menu. We're gonna have a look at that in a second. Prada branded plate. Should we be really, where was it made? Made in Japan, okay. Um, cute little flowers. Um, I was actually meant to be here with my friend, but her kids are ill. <laughs> so I came on my own. And little Prada. Can you see that? How cute. So let's have a look at the menu. I'll show you when it gets a little bit quieter, just to show you the, the outside or the main area. Let's have a look, let's have a look. So yes, this is like a kind of, I guess like a pop-up, but a bit more permanent. So a little bit of information about the brand, which I love, 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 love. Um, we are not here for breakfast. I did originally have breakfast booked, but I changed it. So we've got some different cakes or laminated dough to choose from. Yes, this is a bit more premium than your standard Starbucks. Uh, yogurt and granola. Ooh, the bottom one there, salmon and eggs. I hate that they put calories on stuff. 17 pounds, that's obviously the most expensive. You can add some caviar on there and they have got a little nod there for vegetarian or vegan. Um, I wouldn't, yeah, I would always expect these kind of places to have options, especially branded things. So all day we've got a huge pastry uh, selection there. Oh my gosh, different cakes. 72% 72, 72 dark chocolate cake, oh my gosh. These all look amazing, and don't you worry, we're gonna go up to the counter so I can show you these. As you're watching this, let me know in the comments, which one would you pick? It's so cute. So yeah, you can come in and grab the cakes as well. I will go up there at the end. And then we have some pralines as well, and you would have seen as well, there's a little thing available for takeaway, so you can get yourself a little to-go box, which maybe I will um, get some ice cream. Oh, there we go. Oh my, ooh, 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 ooh. So three flavors for £14.50. Maybe that's like a big um, like share one. And then complimentary whipped cream on request. Yes, please. Thought I'd just show you this side table. Yeah, so it's really nice, super comfy seats. Oh, little things for the champagne and wine there as well. And then some savory selections. Uh, I'm gonna show you everything on the menu because I know you guys love it. Oh, pizzetta. Um, I am gonna get some proper savory food. Oh, um, Oh, brioche bread, some different options there. I love anything with capers in at the moment. What's that all about? And then we have got the lunch. They are open till nine. I guess that's more like an all day, all day um, selection. And already I'm like, oh my gosh, the bottom one, the beef, that sounds amazing. And then we do have some big main courses as well. You can go all out and get the sea bass. So even though it is a cafe, um, definitely has a more of a premium price point some different sides and it's quite nice to go somewhere in a way that doesn't sell chips <laughs> I feel like everywhere sells chips um, and then some water that's standard like seven quid for water is always a thing different drinks five quid for coca-cola I'm definitely gonna get some water in a second I love the floor in here I think it's absolutely bonkers I love it oh look at the aesthetic of that oh it's so nice in here Maybe I should get, do they, I wonder if they've got any iced drinks. I know like the coffee comes with like the cool Prada logo on, or at least I think it does anyway. But we've got some cocktails. That would be nice to have a cocktail and sit outside, wouldn't it? If it was sunny and not so muggy. Oh, espresso martini, yum indeed. Oh my gosh, guys, there's so many, so many cocktails. And then we have non-alcoholic as well. I always find non-alcoholic cocktails a little bit of a rip off, aren't they? Cheeky, cheeky. Some red wines, which I think are relatively reasonable by the glass. Oh, and a crisp rosé. 
<laughs> going to be here all day, aren't we? So some different wines there on the left, the white wines, and then there's a pan over, sparkling and champagne as well. So that's a really nice, oh, cake and, cake and champagne sounds good, doesn't it? Okay, I've ordered my drink, but let me show you. Look at this display. I'm not sure if this is going to come out, but it looks absolutely stunning. You've got all these little cakes, all these little pralines. Oh, I am 100% getting some of these to go. They're all 350 each, and then they you've got little full boxes and then full cakes as well up there. Look at the lights fixture. These are cool, right? And then you've got the croissants, the pastries. So I definitely, yeah, I kind of want to get one of those to go, definitely. And then some more cakes down here. Then you have the entrance into the store as well, and there's like a little bar. And uh, yeah, these cakes are so cute. Can you see that? They're like Prada branded on the top there. Oh wow, I'm not sure if the color's coming out, but they are so cute. And I am gonna go for this non-alcoholic Spritz Marino, which sounds really, really nice. I like that. You can also sit in the corner as well. There's like a little room in there. As I pan round, you have the little balcony mezzanine area as well. Maybe I'll go up at the end and see, but yeah, I'm just sat here. So I've gone for the bottom one, the beef carpaccio, and then as I pan through, it's quite a big menu actually, or lots of drinks anyway. Um, and then I'm gonna get a mixed green salad as well. I know if there was two of us, I could show you way more food, but um, yeah, it's pretty chill in here. Is it like a posh Costa or Starbucks? We shall find out and I will review this at the end. So my drink has come and look, it's on a little Prada coaster. Let's give this a taste test. Ooh. Oh, that's really nice. It kind of feels like alcohol in a good way. Mm, very refreshing. Already I would say this is a really good place to go if you are on your own. There's quite a few people who are on their own, so you're quite separate. Like there's people next to me. I can hear them, but like we're so so separate. Um, it's quite noisy in here, but it's like it's a cafe. It's going to be a bit echoey. Um, but the food looks quite good. It looks small portions. The server, I said to her, I was like, oh, what do you recommend? And I was going to get a main course, but she was like, get, like, you can order, like, a couple of bits, eat it, and then um, have it for, you know, or go and order more, I should say. You do have the table, I think it was an hour and 45, which is quite a long time. Or was it an hour and 15? I think it's an hour and 45. So, um, yeah, decent amount of time for a cafe. This is quite a good place to people watch, actually. It seems to come in waves, but I can't believe the number of people that are coming in to try like I guess they don't have a reservation it is popular so I booked this like two weeks ago and, and it was like the only slot that I could get so it's a bit of a weird time that I've come if you want like a Saturday lunch time I guess Sunday lunch at least I'd say like two weeks in advance but it got so booked up I tried to move it out and they were like we don't have anything else so yeah, also make sure you're subscribed because in a couple of weeks time, literally, um, we'll be going to the Tiffany Cafe, the Blue Box Cafe here, which is on the lower ground floor in the jewelry section. I'll be with my sister, so that will be a good one. So hit that subscribe button. <laughs> this light is so awful, oh my God. <laughs> should I get Botox? <laughs> Maybe I should. This is exactly what I want. Something really nice and fresh. This looks like a good combo. Don't you worry, I'll be buying a cake as well. Okay, I have eaten quite a lot of this. <laughs> it is amazing. So whatever they put on that beef is absolutely scrum diddly umptious. The salad is fresh and they even bought over these little pralines for me. How nice is that? They look amazing. This is definitely a good place to come and like you can share a few plates. There's a lot of beef, it's so nice. I mean, I don't mind, I'll probably be mooing by the tomorrow. Um, so yeah, nice to have something a little bit healthy with salad, I don't know. But I can hear the cakes, the cakes are calling. Which chocolate should I go for? I might try and get some to go as well. Of course, I had to get the cappuccino. They did say it's only the cappuccino that comes with the branding. <laughs> this is fun. It's like kind of play and dress up or whatever for adults. But yeah, and then suddenly now it's really busy again. Look, I'll say, I mean, you would have seen the menu. Like it's crazy, crazy expensive, like what it is. The food's really good quality. Like, yeah, it's lots of money, but I don't know. I think it's fun. Why not? You get to feel part of a brand. It's not for everyone, but I don't know already. I would say I highly recommend it. It's got really loud in here so as long as you're okay with a bit of noise um, but yeah I think it's fun wow I, I'm not really a coffee fan that is really nice coffee I wouldn't usually order a cappuccino yum indeed nine out of ten I only just noticed look at the little sugars <laughs> 
white and brown sugar. I bet a lot of people pinch those. They are cute. It's little things like that. Like, it's fun. Like, come on. Got to have a bit of fun in this world. And I do love these little plates. Oh, here we go. Yes, of course, it is expensive, guys. I know that this is a huge treat, so 57 pounds. And I did get those chockies for free, but they were fantastic. My server, who was called Shayla, uh, is that her name? Yes, it was Shayla. She was fabulous. So would recommend I'll do a fruit full review when I get outside. I am going to do a look at this seating. I love that little Prada thing in the corner. Look on that plinth. It's just throw up some pictures now of some of the other food because um, I know I haven't been able to show you too much. So yeah, lots of really good choices. And they boxed up those chocolates, but let's have a little bit of a look around. So I just wanted to quickly show you upstairs. Yeah, really nice up here. Little, little sign up there as well, but let's scoot down the stairs. Even the green carpet needs a bit of a clean, that's okay. <laughs> love that like the lattice. Lattice, would you call that? The crisscross pattern is everywhere. This is one of the entrances from the main store. How cool. What are the flavors? I kind of am tempted by the pink one, but yeah, it's just really, really cute. With the Prada label on the chocolate, they are adorable, goodness. This is really petty, but my only complaint is these chairs drag on the floor and they're so loud. They need to get those little things. Get yourself on Amazon. They only cost a few quid. Just little, I don't know, stoppers. It would make it a little bit, a little bit nicer. And then they have this cute display. It's a little bit quieter now. I can show you so you can get little boxes of pralines, 12 for 50, etc. But I'm a bit worried. The cakes are gonna melt. Like it's just dawned on me, I'm gonna have to walk home. It's really warm, the cakes aren't gonna survive. So um, I think I'm gonna opt out and not get one actually. We love a good window display, yeah. It was like crazy busy. So um, someone was buying, I think they had three, no, they had four at the end, massive, massive bags, like way bigger than this um, of cakes. And that was, yeah, they were very, very busy in there. But even standing out here now, these cakes are not gonna survive me going home. Okay, Prada Cafe review. Oh, it's a nice breeze now. Oh, I feel like the mugginess is finally going. The storm came earlier while I was trying to do the ad. Um, but anyway, yes, I would highly recommend this. What would I rate this out of 10? I would rate it a solid eight out of 10. This is gonna have to be people in the background of this. I hope you don't mind if you're being filmed. Um, but yeah, I would take one point off just because obviously it's like crazy expensive, but you know what? It's got Prada on the label. These kind of things cost a fortune to make, so there is a huge marketing amount, percentage added on to everything, but it's a little bit of fun if it's your thing. I know some people watching this being like, that's ridiculous. And yeah, it is ridiculous, but I don't know. I feel like a treat once in a while is pretty good. And look, everyone's taking pictures. They're just having fun with it. Um, and then I would probably take half a point off. This is really petty, but I'm just gonna say it. I do think when you go to places like this, it would be nice if they like offered you water when you, like sat down I think because I walked from Marble Arch I was absolutely I was gagging I was thirsty let's walk along a bit more um, and then yeah I would take like half a point off just they're just so busy bless them um, I think the staff are really really lovely but yeah I think 8 out of 10 is a fair one if you have it booked really I would recommend it but yeah it's got to be like you know you want to take photos and have fun with it it's not for everyone but yeah would recommend just like that there's no queue do you see what i mean it's just one of those places where like it'll be crazy busy and they're not gelato takeaway oh fancy car i will be walking home um 11 a.m yeah till seven during the week and then sunday everything opens at 12 on sundays i cannot emphasize this enough guys so many people come to london and they come to harrods or i don't know john lewis at 10 a.m um so there you go you've got a cup a large oh my god a cone 975 <laughs> That is a Prada Harrods London price, 9.75. And then they've got, obviously you can see there are lots of different uh, flavors. Lots of cones, yum. And even some Prada serviettes. Oh, I really want to come back, yeah. And hopefully when my friend's kids are not ill, but yeah, they have taken over part of the facade, Kylie skin, um, on the outside, which is amazing. But interesting to see how long it's here for, because um, as a pan round, yeah, like I said, the Dior like cookie area, um, overlay was here at Christmas. I'll link that video at the end if I remember. Moet and Chandon bar, which I haven't been to. I think I've said before, it wasn't what I expected, but I feel like it sounds like a bit of a vibe going past there. Sale, sale, sale. I'm gonna head on to the Prada section. Also keeping it real. I don't have my Invisalign in because I'm like talking to you guys and I was gonna eat, 
there's attachments. I'm literally like, I feel like I need to brush my teeth. Well, I do. Does anyone have Invisalign? I feel like when you're like eating out in public, like you, I don't know, you can't really like clean your teeth in the bathroom, can you? I do at home. <laughs> God, it's really embarrassing. And there's nothing more humbling about your appearance than walking through a skincare beauty hall, is there? Oh my God. And I have come up to shoe heaven. So let's have a mooch. We've got all the fancy brands. I just want to have a look. We'll have a look along at Prada, but it has been quite difficult to vlog. <laughs> yeah, Saturday afternoon in Harris is probably not the best place to be. Oh, but look at these. They're fun. I love anything with the triangle logo on. Oh, this is cute. I really like the kind of cosmetic travel case, like shapes that are coming into normal day wear. Oh, I want it to be summer forever. Oh my gosh, they are cute. I really wish I'd bought this years ago. It's one of those things, all the prices are going up. That's such a classic, isn't it? Still love the rattan. Rattan, do you call it that? That's really cute, isn't it? If I do like a big bag, you can chuck things in as well. I have been wearing in my Chanel ballet pumps actually, but yeah, Prada have got some too. How much are these? 740. They look quite nice. I kind of wish the, brand, the logo was, I feel like it's a smidge small, is that not? But very nice. Look at this, that's cute on the edge. I really like that. And as I pan over, that's a really nice placement, isn't it? I'm so happy that the Diamantes are still a thing. Look at those. And I still love having like a, some kind of scarf around the handle. That's so nice. It's one of those things where you'd need them to do it. It'd look a mess if I did it, but that size is so adorable. I love pink. Like I say, it's always fun to have a bit of a mooch. It's just brand after brand after brand. Oh gosh, I'm about to get sucked into the sale, aren't I? And I can see... <laughs> oh wow, they are hot pink. That's a pretty decent discount. Um, I'm a 37 in Manolo's, so let's see what they've got. Is this by size? It might be, but yeah. Um, I actually was going to do, just to tell you a little bit, I was going to do a vlog on the Harrods sale, but basically like some of the brands like went earlier than the normal sale. So yeah, a lot of brands, the same with Selfridges, they went earlier than normal in the sale. So the kind of sale date like starts tomorrow kind of thing didn't really happen, um, which is kind of interesting, but also a little bit annoying. So some brands you would have seen if you've gone shopping, have been on sale for absolute ages, obviously by the time you're seeing this, everyone's on sale. Um, but yeah, there wasn't that mad rush, but they still got quite a lot of things left. I saw these in Selfridges as well. I love them. They're so cool. They're not as squidgy as they look, but these are absolutely gorgeous. So a little bit of a discount. <laughs> there is so much still on sale. If you're a size five or five and a half, oh, they've got, what have they got? Two, two and a half over there. It's interesting. They have every size in all of the styles. Those are so nice. But I always like to actually see what is on sale. It's probably no surprise sometimes what's on sale. Um, it's very difficult to predict units on kind of real fashion colors. Yeah, this yellow, I don't think has been too popular. Um, but we'll see. I'm not sure if they do a second markdown, like these Mac and Mac ones, these Mac and Mac, yeah, these, They've been on sale in quite a few places and in fluoro orange as well. So yeah, lots of seasonal colors, if that's a bargain to you. My goodness me. Ooh. See, yeah, they've done a triple markdown on this one. I could do a whole nother video on the shoe haul. Look at it, it just goes on and on and on. Look, and that's the thing, I've said this before, like I just enjoy fashion. I can't, look, I can't afford most of the stuff in here. And I'm okay with that. I just love seeing everything. And also I know in X number of months, I'll be working on a version of it in my day job. Um, but it's just really interesting to see. Look, I mean, look at these cute bags. Wow, what is this brand? Oh, wow, okay, look how adorable. And like, are you joking? And I can just about see the price, shall we see? 575 pounds. Stop, oh my gosh, look at these. These are stunning. See, it's nice to come in here, you can like see brands that I don't personally know, but now I do. Okay, I'm gonna end the video here because I feel like this is quite long enough. Um, I honestly could show you so much in here, but do subscribe because like I said, in a couple of weeks time, I'll we'll be taking you to one of the other cafes, the Tiffany Cafe. So I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you wanna see more. Um, come and say hi over on Instagram and I will see you um, literally next Friday at 6 p.m. Bye guys.